Little Red Riding Hood Story One day, a little girl looked happy and excited. One fine morning, in a small house on the edge of a dense forest. That morning the birds were singing, accompanying the joy that radiated from the beautiful face of a little girl. The difference was that today was the little girl's birthday, which made her look so cheerful and lively. Mama, today is the day I've been waiting for. Did Mama forget? Asked the girl hopefully. Mama didn't forget, honey. Today is your birthday. Mama has prepared a present for you, answered the mother gently, really. Then, where is the gift stored? Asked the girl who was impatient to receive her gift. Just a moment, honey. Mama is making cakes for you and for grandma who is sick, she said with a smile. Girl Red Riding Hood was asked by her mother to deliver cakes to her sick grandmother. A few minutes later, the mother invited the little girl into the room. Apparently, that's where the gifts are kept. Come on, follow Mama. Mama has prepared the most beautiful gift for you in the room, said Mama. Curious, the little girl followed her mother into the room. There, he saw a red parcel. With a very happy feeling, the little girl immediately opened the present. It turned out that it contained a red veil. The mother deliberately chose red, because she knew her little girl's favorite color was red. Thank you mama. I love this red hood. I will use it every day, said the little girl while hugging her mother. Since then, the little girl is nicknamed the Little Girl Red Riding Hood. In the afternoon, the Red Riding Hood girl was ordered by her mother to visit her grandmother who was not well. Take this basket of cakes to grandma, son. Keep walking and don't talk to strangers, said the mama. Yes, mama, she replied cheerfully. On her way, the Red Riding Hood meets Mr. Wolf. Her grandmother lived across the forest, and the little red riding hood headed for the hut where her grandmother lived. When he was deep into the forest, he heard a rustling sound behind him that made his heart beat faster. A dark shadow came to stand beside him in a low, gruff voice spoke. Where are you going alone in the woods, little girl red riding hood? Said Mr. Wolf. I'm going to visit my grandmother who is sick, Mr. Wolf. She lives on the edge of the forest in a cottage under an oak tree. You know that, said the Red Riding Hood girl who had forgotten her mother's advice not to talk to strangers. No, I don't think I know that. But I guess the bluebells over there would make a lovely bunch for grandma, no? Asked the wolf. The poor Red Riding Hood girl didn't see Mr. Wolf planning to eat her and her grandmother. You're right, I'll pick those flowers for my grandmother. Thank you, Mr. Wolf, said the Red Riding Hood girl as she ran toward the bluebells. The evil wolf sneaked into grandma's house and locked grandma in the cupboard. The wolf silently backed away and ran to the Red Riding Hood girl's grandmother's house. Upon arriving, he shouted, pretending to be his grandma's favorite grandson. Grandma, let me in. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf lord. Just go in, I'm too tired. Grandma replied in a hoarse voice. Smiling, the wolf master went into grandma's house. The bad wolf locked the door behind him. Soon after, he locked his grandmother in the closet put on her clothes, closed the curtains, and lay down on the bed, pulling the covers over her nose. Meanwhile, the girl in Red Riding Hood had picked some bluebells and cornflowers. As she was about to return to the trail to continue her journey, the Red Riding Hood saw some lilies up ahead. I'm going to pick some flowers for Mama. She will definitely like it. It's her favorite flower, thought little girl Red Riding Hood. After getting lost, the Red Riding Hood girl finally arrived at her grandmother's house. Pleased with all the flowers she picked, little girl Red Riding Hood began to realize that she had gone too far into the forest and had lost her way. Luckily, he met a woodcutter and asked the right way.
As soon as she reached her grandmother's house, the girl in the red riding hood opened the door. Let me in grandma, it's little girl red riding hood, and I brought you a cake. Call red girl riding hood. How sweet dear, open the lock and come in. And don't forget to close the door behind you, cried the evil wolf. Grandma, your voice sounds weird, do you have a bad cold? Asked the red riding hood girl. Oh. Er. Dot yes, that's right dear, I have a bad cold. Replied the evil wolf master. Little girl red riding hood starts approaching the wolf disguised as her grandmother. Little girl red riding hood finally put down the basket and caught a glimpse of the wolf's face sleeping beside grandma. However, he still didn't realize that it was Lord Wolf who was targeting him in the forest. God, you have big eyes, grandma, said the red riding hood girl as she placed her basket on the table. Now it's better when I meet you, replied the wolf. And how big are your ears? said the red riding hood girl as she walked over to the bed. Better when I see you, my dear, said the wolf slyly. Gosh, you have really big grandma teeth, cried the red riding hood girl with a trembling voice. It's better, when I'm going to eat you, cried the wolf, writhing out of the covers and pounced on the poor girl into his clutches. The red riding hood girl then screamed for help. Her screams were heard by the woodcutter who helped her find the way. Luckily, the man was still near the hut and heard the screams. He broke down the door and beat the wolf unconscious. Then, the red riding hood girl hurriedly brought out her grandmother, who started screaming for help. They thanked the woodcutter, who had brought the wolf out. And they are safe from the bad wolf forever. This story reminds children not to ignore parental advice. Never to talk to strangers and not to judge people based on appearances alone. Because that can be very deceiving. This too reminded that children should not carelessly share any personal information with strangers that could be used by criminals to harm their children or loved ones. Thank you.